name is Tommy Bostolopoulos. I am a biologist in the deer program here at Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife. And today we are going out to check on a roadkill doe to hopefully pull some fetal data off of it. Getting this fetal data also tells us when these fawns are being conceived, when the deer are actually breeding on the landscape. And that varies a little bit uh, throughout the state, so we do it region by region. All right, so we're coming up on our deer. We're gonna throw our flashers on and go ahead and pull off on the side of the road here. So today is the 8th of March. Um, she's definitely been here about a week. So we'll give her March the 1st. It was a roadkill deer. So the next thing we're gonna do is age her. All right, so this is a two and a half year old doe. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is see if she's pregnant. Um, this is when it gets a little stinky. Here's one, here's another. She was pregnant and she's got two fetuses. So we'll go back up to the tailgate and measure these and sex them and then we'll be finished. All right, so we've got this, it's called a fetal scale. Uh, we're gonna put these fetuses on the scale. It's gonna give us a value and then we're gonna do a little bit of math with this chart and it'll give us our data conception. So first thing is we're gonna sex them. We've got a female right here. So fetus number one is a female. And then we will put this right here. Um, so we're at about 114. So that's 114 days since this fawn was conceived. Same thing with the second one. So it's a male and we've got 113. Alrighty, and that's all we do with these fetuses. Um, we're gonna go put them back with the carcass. Hopefully they'll all be scavenged. Hey, so just did a quick double check to make sure that there were only two and here's a third. So that doe was pregnant with triplets. This is a female and she is at 113 as well. This is all we do with these fetuses. Now we just plug these numbers in to a quick equation and we'll have all the data that we need from this doe. Alrighty, so we have our days since conception. So now we're gonna use this little chart and figure out when these fawns were conceived. So date of kill, March 1st. So March 1st in Julian days is day number 60. So we're gonna add that to 365. We've got 425 days. Now we're gonna subtract these numbers from 425. All right, so now we have these numbers. We can take these numbers and they correspond to dates just like that March 1st did. So day 311 is the 7th of November, 2022. So this fetus was conceived on the 7th of November. 312 is the 8th of November. So we'll average all that together. It's gonna end up being right around the 8th of November, 2022, when that doe was bred. And she had triplets, which is pretty cool to see, um, especially in this part of the world, in this part of Kentucky. Alrighty, so we're back in the office. I'm gonna take these numbers, plug them into a big Excel sheet with all of the data from the last two years. We'll average all of that out with physiographic regions, and it's gonna show us that peak of the rut, pretty much. The peak of when breeding is happening throughout the state. Historically, that's been about mid-November, 
and it doesn't really change. That's a pretty common misconception that the rut is kind of contingent on the weather of right around November, but a doe is gonna go into estrus, is gonna go into heat around the same time every single year throughout her life. So on top of being able to give that information to hunters, for us, we're able to determine, um, are all the does being bred right around the same time? And if not, you know, there's, everybody kind of knows about the second rut. And so if does are not bred in that first time that they go into estrus, a few weeks later, they'll go back into estrus. They'll, they'll drop another egg. So if that's happening a lot and a lot of deer are being bred late, um, that tells us either there aren't enough bucks on the landscape to breed all of the does that are there, or in most of Kentucky's case, there are too many does on the landscape and the bucks just aren't able to get to all of them during that first estrus cycle. And from there, we'll be able to determine how healthy the herd is around here. Mm -hmm.